you guys. What have I done to my farm? Oh, everything's dead. Everything is withered. <laughs> How could I have allowed that to happen? I'm gonna have to unwither everything again. Oh my gosh, but hello everyone and welcome back to Farmville 2. I am so disappointed. Oh man. All right, but we're gonna get back in the swing of things. No use crying over withered up crops, right? But yes, I know it's been a little bit since we've had Farmville 2 even though I was saying I love it so much and it's gonna be daily. And if you guys have been following along on our weekly update vlogs, that's because my house almost caught fire when the dryer malfunctioned and then we had a whole bunch of family emergencies and then it was just a scramble to keep up with our more popular series because while I may absolutely adore and passionately love Farmville 2, I understand it's not for everyone. It's just for, you know, all of us. All of us who are here sort of cooing and purring over it because it's such an awesome game and I really love it. And look at all of those tea! Oh my gosh, those tea plants. Let's go ahead and harvest those up. I think it is well worth using some of our awesome friends. Patricia! Welcome, Patricia, to come and join us. Oh, I forgot we even needed to have our friends help us out to progress some of the um, the little quests we're doing right now with Barbara. But yes, I love Farmville, but I totally understand how it's not for everybody, and so it's not super duper popular, and that's fine, but man, I just was having a bit of a morning, it's been a bit of a week, and I can't tell you how happy it makes me just to be able to come and take care of my little pixelated farm. It's, it's truly one of the things, one of the games that just makes me happy. So that being said, I'm going to try to come back, provided we have no more fires in the household and no more like medical family emergencies. Let's jump back in because Farmville 2 also really gives me some great ideas about special events to do in all of our other series. Because I mean, look at all these items and look at what has happened to my field. We're getting festive. We're getting festive. Oh my gosh, where did these come from? I didn't put these pumpkins down here. <gasps> There's little pirate pumpkins. Those are so cute. I wonder who did that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to jump back in and have some fun. Our ranger outpost is not ready. She'll be ready later today and then we can start trying. Is that a puma? <gasps> then we can start trying to collect the wildlife photos, which would be really cool. And that's definitely going to be one of my biggest goals. But we actually have a whole bunch of other things that have been going on. Um, oh my gosh, we do. For all sorts of the special events that have been happening. We need to go to the country fair for one thing. So let's go ahead and go get the rewards from the country fair really quickly, which is a really cute idea. You know what? Here, come here, notepad. I'm going to write down some ideas that we garner from Farmville today. And I think that a country fair would be a really fun thing to have in some of our sim series or even in our zoo crafting series. That would be cute. Hey, I'm number one. Yeah, look at me. Not doing too bad. All right. Congratulations. Amber 2 Trophy State Fair this week. I've got some boxes to open up. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. I get I get boxes. Oh, oh there's my golden shovel. There's a, a baby bottle basket. There are some tools. And there's some super feed. Let's go ahead and get and share some of these rewards. Very awesome. The higher up you go on the state fairs, the more you start earning um, bigger and bigger rewards too, which is pretty fun. In fact, you know what? That would be really cool. So country fair with rewards. So really, you guys are getting a sneak peek of things that you might see in some of our other series at this rate. And then also, we have this hot air balloon that we can go to our gourmet farm with. So we're going to be checking that out in just a minute here too. Oh my goodness. And what do we have here in the mail? A whole bunch of awesome goodies. We'll go ahead and select and send that to our friends. I'm in that random co-op I joined. <laughs> I, I might leave it because I don't, I feel a little guilty because I'm not really, I'm not really as active as I wish I could be. All right, but we're going to go ahead and jump in and let's see. Uh, Perry's little event is now over. There's a special cell going on on the expansions. So there's a whole bunch of places where I could actually, like, if I just had five more farm bucks, get spots that would be unavailable otherwise. But that's too bad because I don't have those farm bucks. All right. So let's see. Uh, tea plants. Click to unwither. I think I only need one to, like, unwither all of these. So I'm just going to unwither all these guys. There we go. And then we'll look at what kind of cool questy things we have. Uh, all right, this thing's making a bunch of noise at me, so I'm just gonna take a peek at it. This is where you go. Oh, are you not gonna show me what's going on with our co-op? This is where you go to see what the co-op needs. Oh no, it's not working. Okay, one second, guys. 
Huh. All right. So I had to refresh because sometimes it's a funky game and you have to do that from time to time. And the farm fuel free with the bioplane upgrade, the bioplane fertilizers, and can even water your farm without using fuel. Tend to your farm nine plots at a time. What? Okay, so apparently, fertilize without fuel at level one, move your mouse pointer over a watered plot or tree, and then the bioplane just fertilizes everything? Oh my gosh. Uh, water without fuel at level two, and then you can just water everything with the bioplane? What? Win back fertilizer and water with the bi What? Okay, every time you upgrade it. Early unlock the bioplane. Fertilizer water without the farm without fuel. Get level two bioplane fully upgraded, ready to use. Um, what? That's, oh, oh, it's hanging out over here. Okay, so the bioplane is now hanging out inside of my little upgrade area. So cool, the bioplane's coming. Now, uh, we do have a plane, as weird as that sounds. Somewhere around here we have fuel and you can actually activate like a plane that will come and it will collect, uh, dun, 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 dun. the plane will come and it will actually use up fuel that we can harvest from our fuel, our little fuel thingy over here, our fuel pump, and it will use it up and rush off and you can actually, I think, um, no, I can't really show it off, but you can actually go ahead and, oh yeah, I've got more people showing up. Water your crops, fertilize, or you can fertilize your crops with the plane right now, so, I'm not used to all of these things. Let's put this away. All right, that's my little, hey, get in here, little Blackberry mastery sign. And this thing's just gonna ring off the hook, but I don't know why it won't It won't let me check out what's going on with everybody. Okay, good. All right, enough of this dilly-dallying. Let's go look at something really cool. We're gonna unwither this area real fast. And then, are these all just tea plants too? I don't know, do I wanna use all my unwithers? I mean, tea plants are really useful and they take forever. So I might as well just come on through. All right, why not? I've got all those unwithers for a reason, so here we go. We're just gonna use the whole kit and caboodle. There we go, awesome. Look at it, my farm is restored to life and beauty. Awesome, all right, and we're gonna get moving and go check out our gourmet farm now, because I'm really curious about that. And we're gonna sell off all of those elder trees then. Aw, oh, look at all the stuff we're harvesting up. Yay! <laughs> and apparently we're going up the ranking. I forgot about the country fair. All right, we'll get in the swing of things. We'll get in the swing of things. I'm really excited to see what kind of limited items are available at the moment too. And we'll go ahead and harvest up all of this taro. And I think we've only got one quest. Usually there's like six or seven quests going at the same time, it feels like. But the current quest we have is to gather up more bait for fishing. And to gather up bait, you have to harvest up fertilized uh, crops, fertilized water crops. So it can be a little bit tricky to get bait because water crops take a long time to grow. They're not very fast growing the way that some of the land crops are. Woo, we're going up the rankings, sweet. But I think we just got a whole bunch. Oh, and look at Almond, good job Almond. She's busy digging up like super special crops for us because she's a good dog. So we're getting more mastery points thanks to her. And we just need two more bait and then we'll be able to finally complete that little quest that Barbara's had for us for eons now. So we'll pick the cranberries because those grow pretty quickly. And I will plant and fertilize some cranberries really quickly so we can get bait. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and fertilize them. See, so yeah, if you saw when I clicked fertilize, right here in the middle, there's the option for plane. But it does require fuel to use. So I haven't ever really used the, the plane before, but we'll look into that in the future. And then this is a new thing, the Riverside Game Booth that they added in next to my mushroom stump. So I don't know about it being so close to my mushroom stump, my precious mushroom stump. But this is the little game booth. And so what happens, is you can complete request. Oh cool, I got like, what? You didn't complete the three requests, okay. What happens is you have a few days, see winning numbers in two hours, or you have some time before um, the they pick three winning numbers and you have to enter at, three, at least three numbers to enter the game. So it's kind of like a little gambling sort of thing. And if you complete these orders, then you can turn around, ooh, look at that jelly cranberry, that's so cool looking. You can turn around and you can pick a number, it'll put it down here, and if your numbers match, then you might win one of 
these awesome things. So I think that's pretty cool because it's pretty good chances if you fill up the whole thing. But it's not really something I'm going to look into just yet because we don't really have a great crop dryer at the moment. We just have this one where you can only like... <laughs> You can only maximize, like, max dry, uh, like, 18 things at a time. Um, I guess I'll go ahead. I saw that they wanted lilies, so I'll go ahead and just dry a whole bunch of lilies. You tend to use those for a lot of things. And we can harvest up from the fuel pump. But I wonder if there are upgrades I could do for either the fuel pump or the crop dryer. Because you don't really, you can grow so many water crops, but you can't really, like, dry very many of them. So I guess it's mostly wanting to make sure that our little fuel pump can get as much fuel out of it as possible. Hmm. Hmm. And then let's go ahead and dry a bunch of rice, I think. Because I often need rice for a whole bunch of things. Oh, it's just piling up on her head. That's hilarious. All right, there we go. So plenty of fuel. All used up so we'll worry about that later but that's the Riverside game booth that's also new I don't see any like Halloween event things just yet uh, we'll go ahead and take care of this withered lavender really quickly and then we'll get out of here hey hey oh, there's still one more come on somebody help one of my one of my family members Wow everybody's running around so speedy come on guys come on there we go that's more like it. All right, so that said, let's go ahead and check out our gourmet farm. <laughs> oh my gosh, your new gourmet farm is waiting for you. Explore your new farm in the mountains right away and start crafting gourmet, delicacy. gourmet delicacies. Oh my gosh. You can get Fancy Hot Air Balloon in a starter pack if you, if you go over there now for $8. Or I can wait, and in seven days, we'll be able to get to a gourmet farm. So I guess we're going to have to wait a little bit before I can go to my gourmet farm. But I guess this is happening. They just dropped off a hot air balloon in my front yard. It'll take me a while to get another balloon ready for you. Oh no, really? Remember, you can have this fancy one of mine to start exploring the mountains sooner. Thanks, ladies. Interesting. So we're going to have like a mountainside gourmet farm. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I really want to see how that turns out. So that'll be something fun to look into. And let's see. Our ranger isn't quite ready just yet. Hmm. All right. I'm going to try refreshing again because we're still so behind because it's been a year since I've played that every time I refresh, there's new events popping up. So give me just a second. Ha! Huh, I knew it! I knew it, you guys! Gosh, and this one's a pretty cute one. So I refreshed and we have a leaf pressing station! So enjoy the fall with your leaf pressing station and earn points so we can press leaves. That'd be so much fun to do with my kids! Because I do have Lily and Tate as my two children here on the farm. And you can collect tokens from animals, trees, and crops and win a, a pink British lop pig. A lop pig? I didn't know they had lop pigs. So let's go ahead and Put down a leaf pressing station that sounds really adorable that sounds like something I would probably do with the kids so should I put it back here I kind of think I want to let's put it over here next to the riverside all right and let's see what the little event is leaf pressing look at the tiny little lot pig it's so fuzzy oh my gosh Siri what a beautiful day right I have to say autumn is definitely the best season of the year it sure is when I was raking up leaves at Barb's b, b a brilliant idea struck me. But of course, I need your help. What is it? Well, let's collect the foliage and make a fall album. I'd hate if the leaves were turned into compost. It's going to be great fun, and if you finish it fast, I'll even give you this cute little pig. Where do you get all these pigs, sir? Where? Alright, so that's the special one of the special events currently going on. Which means that we need to go ahead and get this built. So we need to have some fall albums. We need to get some sponge sticks. So we'll send off requests to half of my friends for sponge sticks. Oh my goodness. And we'll send off requests for maple tabletops to the other half of my friends. Hi everybody. Woo, so many people. There we go. And we'll see how long it takes us to get the leaf pressing station put together. But that should be fun. Barbara, your outfit's so cute. Burr, there's a little nip in the air, don't you think, Siri? Walter's off with his pals to indulge in his new hobby. Something about the leaves and fall, he says. I love her earrings. That's so cute. Percy's been coughing and sneezing a lot. He's probably coming down with something. Will you help me? Of course, Barbara. All right, so collect 15 water. Water fi 15 crane berries for their timely growth. Ooh, what are crane berries? Those are new. All right, so crane berries. On, you can make cranberry cheesecake out of them, and you can make cranberry pickles. Interesting. 
<laughs> so sweet or sour, depending on how you want to go at it. And yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and okay. Whoa. I was wondering, I got all these message notifications. Hey, Almond, what was going on there? But let's go ahead and get some of the crane berries planted and watered then. So 15 of them, huh? I'll put them in my back plots back here. That sounds like something good to do. And the Garricans and the Prince's Feathers are still here as well. Man, look at that. Prince's Feather Cake, Prince's Feather Cereal. That's so interesting. All right, crane berries. And I think I'll put them... Yeah, I'll put some over here. I think I kind of want to grow some prince's feather just for the heck of it because they're gonna be gone soon So there we go, and I did collect the water just then too or nope haven't collected the water just yet But let's go ahead. What should I do next then? I should probably grow something just normal for my farm I don't know how much wheat and everything I have Let's take a peek at my inventory really quickly, which is probably quite the amazing mess Oh, and I still need to look at my badges. That'll be fun to do another day to look through all of my badgers. <gasps> look at the corn maze blocks. I totally forgot about those. And the vegetable garden wall on oh, the pride fences. I totally forgot about all of these things. The old wood fence. Oh, the decorative eggs. The ideas are just rushing back to me. The ostrich racing. We could do ostrich racing and zoo crafting. It's all about finding ways that you can take all of these ideas, you guys, and turn them into something really unique and interesting when you cross them over. It's kind of like cross-pollinating to make your own cool hybrid plant. That's how I look at it. Cat fence, ceramic bird planter, that looks amazing. Oh, we could have too much fun in here. I need to check out what kind of ingredients I've got my paws on right now though. More truffles than I can shake a stick at, that's for sure. A whole bunch of hibiscus flowers because there's not really anything to do with the hibiscus flowers anymore. Uh, do I have a lot of wheat or am I low on wheat? That's actually what I'm looking for. Normal hibiscus flowers. Rye, hmm, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and plant some wheat because yeah, I only have 147 wheat and you usually need to have lots of wheat for lots of different things. So, and maybe even some pumpkins. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get some corn planted and over here I'm gonna plant some pumpkins. Just kind of get in the mood because you should always have pumpkins if it's, if it's gonna be like the Halloween season. There should be pumpkins out and about. There we go. Nice. Nice. I like it. All right. And we'll go ahead take care of that. And then anything else? Yeah, I'll plant that wheat down here. Just have a nice field of wheat for a little while. There we go. And I'll fertilize up what I can in just a minute. There we go. And I should have collected the water. Did that count? Collecting the water from my well just then? Yeah, there we go. Feeling flu. Wonderful. Well, we'll have to wait for the cranberries to grow. Let's move on to things that I'll need for Percy. Uh, no problem, Barbara. Good friend. Buddy old pal. I need a thermometer. The one we have is rinky-dink and I'm and not in very good condition, I'm afraid. Do you mind getting me one that's in mint condition? Not at all, Barbara. Not at all. We'll go ahead and collect up some thermometers. I'll feed my chickens and craft some pumpkin pie. Everybody can feel better from the flu with some pumpkin pie. So, one, two... How many pumpkin pies again? Was it six? All right, there we go, it was four pumpkin pies. All right, pumpkin pies are now made, so she should be pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and we can feed our chickens and collect up any rare eggs we might have in our hen house. There we go, and I'll feed the little pheasant guy too. And then next time we might be able to expand to the old furnace area as well. I think I finally managed to get all of the things we need to be able to expand over here, so that would be really nice too. All right, taking care of everybody. I've got so many apples in the background. All right, everybody fed? All the chickens happy? Do I not have that many chickens anymore? I don't think I have that many chickens anymore, you guys. I think, I think I'm in need of some new chickens because I only got like a few eggs from that. I should have more chickens. Do I have any baby chickens? Let's check if I have any baby chickens. <gasps> I do! I have baby Polish silver lace chickens and an owl and my peacocks. I totally forgot about these guys in here. Sweet. All right, oh, and Barbara's good. Okay, oh, wow. I just need to feed one more chicken. <laughs> Where's my, do I have a baby chicken coop? Like there's a nursery, you can put little nurseries down for the little animals. I do, look, I have a little baby chicken sleeping in here. Oh my gosh, and its name is Pine. I didn't even know, I didn't even know. Okay, I'm gonna make a chicken manual and post for more. So I do have a baby chicken waiting to wake up. So I'll go ahead and feed this Houdini chicken. Sweet, Barb's doing good. Oh, thanks, Siri. I'll go check on Percy immediately. 
Percy's got the flu. It's not as bad as I thought, but with the season changing and all, we have to be cautious. I suppose he was supposed to fetch ripe lemons for his father, but could you harvest some from your farm instead? Sure, Barbara, I'm on it. Harvest four lemon trees, feed three mini adult goats. Do I even have a mini adult goat? What? I don't think I, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I don't have a mini adult goat at all. Oh my goodness. Let's grab, let's grab a couple of these guys. They're so cute. Come down here, little one. I'll get two because why not? Come here. Oh my gosh. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's go ahead and feed them. Their little, their little bottles. Jeez, my family is just like going so fast today. Oh, and I do have lemons. Sweet. I didn't think I had a lemon tree, so I was going to be a little bit sad about that. All right, there's some lemons gathered up. There's the baby goats. I can just feed everybody. We'll just come over here and feed them all at once, I think. Do they count as... I don't know if pygmy goats count for eating from over here. I don't think they do. Oh, and my angora rabbits share some bottles. They're growing up. Awesome. Aztec horse. That looked really cool. We'll have to check out the Aztec horses in a little bit. So let's go ahead and feed the pygmy goats again because it looks like they don't eat from from the trough like I thought they did. Badge complete. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh, that's a cute sounding badge. I love the badge names too. All right. So they're taken care of. And then I think, wow, I think that covered quite a bit. Feed three mini adult goats. Okay. So I have to feed them one more time. Hey, come here you. I'm going to give you a little super feed. And that'll take care of that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize. Oh, do I need to collect from my fertilizer bin? No, not yet. I need to upgrade my fertilizing bin. Cashmere wool, I wonder what I can do with that. Oh. See, it's all just the little items. I love, I love looking over all of the little items and things that I could learn from. Okay, harvest four lemon trees. I'm gonna go ahead and speed grow these. Cause I wanna, I wanna see what happens with Percy's flu. Oh, and I had a baby horse. <laughs> I forgot about the baby Andalusian horse. All right, there we go. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell the elder lemon tree. There we go. Passed up junior, I'll go ahead and cheer him on. So we're going up in the state fair. What is that? Greystone Park? A stone garden? I want that. What will it take to expand over there? A long, long time, I think. <laughs> I can't get over there, if only, if only. All right, so let's see what's going on with Percy and his flu now and do the the pearl job. So, oh yeah, and let's come down here. I'm sure this is gonna finish up the other quest we've had for ages for Barbara, where we needed to get the bait for her. So she's gonna be super happy because we will have tackled so many different things by now. All right, and I will send over, oops, I didn't wanna go fishing. I meant to do the pearl job, but instead I decided to go fishing. Hmm, not quite what I had in mind. All right, and I'm gonna send one of my family members. We'll send Darling into the water. Dun dun dun! I wasn't wrong. Those are the choicest lemons I've ever laid my eyes on. Oh, I see, she just wanted our professionally grown lemons. Oh dear, Percy's burning up by the minute. Do you have any idea what to do? Maybe an ice pack? Great idea, but we don't have any ice at home, and it's going to be forever before the next batch is done. Uh, I'll help? Okay, so we'll collect up some ice packs, gather up some power, make four rope baskets. Oh, poor woman, she's really worried about her son. All right, and then there we go. Darling collected up a whole bunch of pearls for us. And then let's jump into, there we go. Oh, we got a golden lure, sweet. There, and the fishing adventures are slowly, slowly becoming complete. We've had those fishing adventures for like a year and a half. I really need to finish those up at some point. It's kind of funny how they've been there that long. All this outdoor activity is taking its toll. All right, we'll collect some sunglasses if we're lucky, water some quinoa and make some quinoa breakfast muffins. My quinoa and quinoa breakfast, breakfast muffins are actually pretty popular. People are often demanding the quinoa. All right, let's see if I can grow some more. And then I think we're good. So man, we'll have to come back later. Like I said, this is really more for my entertainment than anything else, because it's very relaxing, helps me get the day started, helps me get organized, and helps me come up with a lot of ideas for my various series. I know that may seem kind of weird, but it's true. <laughs> it really does help me just sort of sort through everything mentally and go, okay, what do I, what do I really want to do with what we're doing in all of our series? And it, I come up with a lot of ideas as a result. We could grow some garlic. There's so many things. Black orchids. <gasps> Those are so pretty. Yellow bell peppers. Oh, see, I'm at the point where I'm actually more in the mood just to grow things that seem appropriate for the season. So I'll throw down some barley over here. 
which is kind of a bit of a waste, but eh, eh, I'm having fun and that's what matters, right? All right, we'll go ahead and fertilize this just so we don't waste any of that. And then I will go ahead and fertilize these guys if I can too. All right, and we'll, we'll go ahead and feed the animals later. All right, and I've still got some water left, so I'm gonna plant some more pumpkins, because why not? Like pumpkins, what other things would you guys consider like autumn crops? If it was you, what would you consider an autumn crop? Maybe some garlic? I'm kind of tempted to plant the garlic, actually. It'll take a while to grow, but you know what? I don't think I've ever really planted garlic, so I'm gonna plant a bunch of garlic back here, because it just seems like a fun thing to do. There we go. So a bunch of garlic. And then all of this is taken care of. So I guess I could water some of the plants. There we go. All right, not bad, not bad. I love these, they're so pretty. The heirloom white willow trees. And then I'm gonna put some roses back here. I always like putting flowers at the back. Uh, so we're gonna put down some more lavender. Lavender definitely seems like kind of an autumn-y thing to me for some reason. Whoops, out of fertilizer. Oh well, we'll get more fertilizer later when I feed all of the animals. In fact, I'll feed all the horses now too. All right, and I'll water some of the trees just to use up the last of the water. And, oh, fertilizer bin's ready, sweet. There we go. All right, so yeah, it's a little bit longer before we're able to do anything for the ranger. A little bit longer before we can get our bench done. Let's see how it's doing. Yeah, we still need to wait for some more fall albums, but we can win. Oh, fall decorations and goodies. That's really what I'm after. I'm not really after the pig. I'm really after the decorations and goodies. So hopefully we'll be able to get our paws on some of those too. And then I will see you guys next time. Cause like I said, I, I know that a lot of you are like, Sarah, this is so boring. But for me, it's really fun. It's really fun. It's really relaxing, calming, inspirational, and just a great way for me to be able to feel like I can start my day. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.